Hello, everybody. It's been quite an event today, don't you think? Yeah. A lot of people had to come together to make this happen, which means, gosh, they might have done some planning. And guess what I'm going to talk about? Planning. Strategic planning, yes. Okay, that sounds like a business topic. Thank you. And it is. But in addition, it has value for almost anyone who has goals that they would like to achieve. Now, I'm the first to admit that not everyone is goal-driven. Many people are very happy to go day-to-day, -day, take life as it comes. But as John Lennon wrote, life is what happens when you're busy making plans. And, and there's certainly some truth to that. However, for those of us in business, or who work for not-for-profits, or have personal goals that they're burning to achieve, having a plan can be a pretty important thing. But you don't have to take my word for it. You can go ask Alice. <laughs> now, you remember Alice fell down the rabbit hole and got lost in Wonderland. And she happened upon the Cheshire Cat. And she asked the Cheshire Cat, would you tell me, please, which way I ought to go from here? To which the cat replied, well, that depends a good deal on where you want to get to. Well, I don't much care where, said Alice, and then it doesn't much matter which way you go, said the cat. So long as I get somewhere, Alice added as an explanation. Oh, you're sure to do that, said the cat, if you just walk long enough. Now, we're all headed somewhere. Excuse me? In a handbasket? No, no, hope, hopefully not there. No. But, but we are all headed somewhere, and if we have a vision of what that somewhere looks like, having a strategic plan can mean the difference between reaching the destination and getting lost along the way. So what really is a strategic plan? Well, it's a road map that helps you to go from where you are today to where you want to be in the future. And it doesn't mean that you have to plot out every step of the way, but rather you can establish important milestones and then develop the strategies or the big ideas that are going to help you get from one point to another. Well, let, let's, for example, think about this. Let's say you're going to um, buy your first home. And one of the important milestones may be having a down payment. So your strategy could be, I'm going to save a certain amount out of each paycheck. Or your strategy could be, I'm going to take on a, a part-time job. Uh, just a word of note, buying lottery tickets isn't considered a sound strategy. <laughs> but that's basically what strategic planning is all about. Now, when I bring the subject up to a lot of people, I get a negative reaction. And the reason for that is they've probably gone through a strategic planning process with some organization at some point that was stuck in old school ideas of how these things can be done. So I can't really blame them. Because I, I've studied these methods, and the good news, folks, is I'm going to share them with you so that you too can fail miserably doing strategic planning. <laughs> now here's what you have to do. First of all, hold all the meetings in your own facility because there's nothing like the constant interruption of day-to-day -day business to take people's focus off what they really should be doing in these meetings. Second, make sure you lead the discussions yourself or have a trusted staff member do it. The last thing you want to do is bring in some professional who knows how to guide you through the process <laughs> and, and, and perhaps uh, bring some fresh ideas to the party. Third, forget about that research stuff, you know? If you don't have all the facts, go with your gut. You're only betting the future of your organization. Fourth, Listen to the naysayers. You know, when good old Charlie tells everybody how, well, we tried that 10 years ago and it just didn't work. Pay close attention. There's no point in trying to address an idea whose time may actually have now come. 
and have a good laugh at the stupid ideas some of your people bring to the table. You know, there's nothing like a, a good dose of humiliation and embarrassment to stifle creativity. Six. Spend a lot of time on minor details. So if it takes you a couple of hours to figure out if the coffee cups in the break room ought to be baby blue or mocha brown, so what? That's less time you have to spend on all that heavy strategy stuff. This is probably most important. Whatever you do, don't share the plan. <laughs> Now, assuming that you actually do cobble some kind of a plan together, Keep it confidential, because if the people who actually do the work in your business saw it, well, they might start asking embarrassing questions, like, what is what I'm doing actually fitting into these strategies? However, if you'd like to do it the right way, here's a few tips. First of all, really have a clear vision of what your future should look like. You know, the Cheshire Cat told Alice, basically, if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. So have a good visualized idea of what the future is going to be. And do bring in a professional to help you with this. There are facilitators and uh, consultants who work with companies can help you through the process. And if you're an individual, there are life coaches, there are financial planners, there are counselors who can help you along the way. Take your meetings off-site. And for goodness sake, tell your people to turn off their cell phones and mobile devices because, yeah, we all think we can multitask, right? Squirrel! But <laughs> we... Fourth, respect everyone. All ideas are valid. Your facilitator will help you to sift out the really good strategies from the not-so-good strategies, but everybody ought to be heard. Everybody ought to have input. Everybody ought to feel like this is part of them. Fifth, do the homework. There are certain facts that every organization needs to have at their fingertips when they're doing this planning. So do the research ahead of time to be prepared. Of course, you want to avoid minor details. The business here is establish goals and come up with strategies, the big ideas, not a bunch of little details that get in the way. And yes, you do want to share the plan. When all is said and done, the people in your organization need to know how they fit into the big picture. So if you've done the job right, you should have something you can summarize in a page or two, really. Circulate that to everybody. Finally, life's going to throw changes at us, folks, so be prepared for it. The good thing about having a plan is you can go back and revisit it. You can make adjustments where necessary. You're following a roadmap, but occasionally you're going to have to take a detour. One last thought. If you're going to do any kind of planning, I suggest you start today. Because, take it from me, the future will be here much sooner than you can ever expect. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>